Joining us now is Dallas Cowboys Pro Bowl linebacker Jalen Smith. You can follow him on Twitter at the Jalen Smith, on Instagram at YOLO underscore Smith9, and uh, you can even keep up with him on his website, jalensmith.com. Jalen, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing wonderful, man. Just uh, pulling up at home from finishing a workout. How's, how's everything going yourself? Not bad, but, you know, I got to say, that's probably something that people are really curious about is, is these workouts and how those have been going just with everything with the pandemic. How have you been uh, staying in shape and, and keeping things ready for yourself uh, when the season finally comes back to normal a little bit? Man, it's all about grind. It's all about grind. And just because, um, you know, temporarily – you know, due to COVID-19, we're not allowed into the facilities. You still got to get your work in. Um, so guys are being creative uh, with, with workouts at home. Uh, myself, I got a Peloton. Uh, my cousin's an athletic trainer. So uh, he's been getting myself and my brother right. There's a there's a, a field like two minutes away from uh, where I live. So uh, that's where I'm driving home. Um, from right now, just finishing uh, some some field work, man. Now, uh, in terms of how your understanding is of, of how things are going to be handled in terms of when you guys maybe are going to be able to get back to the facility or, or how many camp and OTAs are going to go, have they given you guys any sort of guidance on that or, or is it still just kind of up in the air and you guys are, are wondering yourselves what's the next step? Yeah, I mean, we, we really don't know, man. Uh, we, we really don't know what's, what's going on. It's just you know, for us, it's about following direction and, and understanding the circumstances, man. We Everybody needs to stay safe right now, That's the, and it's very important. But, um, you know, we love the game of football. We want to play. We want to be able to give the fans, um, you know, what what they need, some entertainment, and, and, and be able to go out there and, and play as one. So uh, I have faith that everything will be fine. It's just – taking it day by day with these uh with these virtual meetings and those virtual meetings you know those are going to be critically important this time around because obviously there's a defense change this year uh rod marinelli chris richard no longer here a lot of uh personnel changes mike nolan coming into the fold uh and and we've heard different things about how you guys are going to be multiple this year that it's not going to necessarily be the same sort of base four three look um but, but it's not going to be fit into any particular box that you guys are wanting to do a lot of different things. Um, do you have any sort of understanding of how maybe your role might change or if you're going to get to do anything uh, a little different this year, or do you think it's going to be pretty much the same for you just with a different overall look for the rest of the unit? Um, really just some, some added tools from, from myself, man, being able to um, showcase my versatility, um, you know, being able to run sideline to sideline, being able to, um, you know, rush the passer, um, you know, I'm just looking forward to be able to, um, you know, showcase all of, all, all of my talents. Uh, these guys are putting everyone in the right position. So, you know, all I can be is thankful. Now you've, while you've been in Dallas, your defensive overseers have, have been Rod Marinelli, who obviously was a big D-line guy, and Chris Richard, who was a secondary guy. Uh, has it been beneficial, or are you excited that, you know, the guy that's coordinating the whole defense this time around is, is now a guy who specializes in your position, linebackers? Oh, man. Um, I, I actually experienced that in college where uh, Brian Van Gorder was – my defensive coordinator, but he specialized in, um, you know, in linebackers as well. Um, being a D coordinator, I think in like 2011 with the Atlanta Falcons, being a linebacker coach for the New York Jets. So he's, I was able to, to really, really learn, um, you know, a lot about my position, um, you know, having a, a linebacker minded, deep defensive minded coach. So it's exciting, man, but it's, it's, it's all a blessing. You just got to soak it in. Now, I know your your football's obviously uh, your main thing, what most people know you for, but I know you've got some off-the-field things that you're working on. Uh, specifically, you're working on the MEI, which is the Minority Entrepreneurship Institute, and you've got a showcase coming up here in Dallas on July 10th. Uh, has any of that changed for you with uh, you know some of this outbreak, or are you guys anticipating full go? And I guess just talk a little bit about that event and what you're wanting to accomplish. Man, uh, the the need is still out there. Um, for, for me, I've, I've always 
had a desire for for entrepreneurship and uh, business ownership. Um, you know, giving me having four years in the, um, of being a professional and just understanding all you know, all the access I've gained through relationships and networking and access to quality deal flow. I, I've always thought about, man, how can I help people that look like me get the same kind of resources? Um, so just trying to help out the black and the brown and the, the Latinx community to close the the economic and educational gap. That's why I started the, the Minority Entrepreneurship Institute. Um, this year going to be giving out are uh, going to be awarding fi- uh, over $500,000 to three winners um, in this venture pitch, which is July 10th. Um, my, minority owners, they need uh, financial funding. They need um, strategic uh, mentorship and helping them put together their infrastructures to be able to succeed and ultimately provide more jobs for other people in this world. Um, that's how we can all grow together as a you know, as a unit and as a, and, and as an entire economy. So, uh, it's really been dear to my heart. Um, like I said, I've committed over, uh, two and a half million dollars over the next decade to, to help close this gap, man. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Uh, it's going to be a, a virtual n- because of the, you know, the pandemic. Sure. So, but, um, it's nevertheless, it's, it's still gonna, it's still gonna do some good justice. Well, and because of the pandemic, have you noticed, um, increased interest from people who I, I mean right now there are a lot of small businesses and, and entrepreneurs who have been hit hard are, are you noticing an, an increase in the last month or two of, of people who are interested in getting a chance to have access to these funds yes yes and it's all about it's, it's all about applying man uh you can you can apply on my website jalensmith.com slash mei um mei also has a, a website mei capital fund just um Go in there, apply, tell us about your business, um, you know, give us a lot of information so we can do some due diligence and, um, and hopefully you can get on. Uh, that's, but that's, that's what it's about, man. Um, this pandemic has affected so many small businesses, um, you know, even some of the small businesses that I'm involved with. So just understanding that scope is just an extra added, um, you know, just me understanding that I'm, I'm doing the right thing for sure. <laughs> One of uh, your hot boy brothers, uh, Demarcus Lawrence, I know he was speaking recently to uh, speak for yourself, Marcellus Wiley and, and Jason Whitlock. And in that interview, he was talking about how things ended last year and said that he thought that there were things that the team was maybe worried about that, that caused them to be a little bit divided. And, and he didn't get into it other than that, just to say that he thought that was the case and that things were going to be better this year. I wouldn't ask you to extrapolate on his own thoughts. You know, DeMarcus is the one to speak for DeMarcus. But what would you say? Do you think that last year you guys had any sort of distraction or or that you felt divided at any point? No, I was just saying, man, it's all about it's all about execution. It's all about accomplishing the mission. And we didn't do that last year, Um, whether it be coach, whether it be player. I mean, at the end of the day, we're we're the guys out there playing. so I just I just think it's a new opportunity this year to 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 define our really develop our culture and understand who we are as a unit. And then from there it's just a, it's about execution, man. We got to go out there and play with the with the will to win. So I'm excited about that personally um and and also as a team for real just being able to 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 get it right. Is that something that, especially with a new leadership, uh, you know, you know, a new regime coming in, is that something that you, as, as somebody who was a captain and, and somebody who uh, is looked at as a leader, is that something that you're you're taking that responsibility maybe even a little bit more seriously this year, knowing that hey, there's going to need to be some uh, you know bridges built here between a new coaching staff and some of the players, and, and that you view yourself as somewhat of a vessel for that. Yeah, man, absolutely. Um, first year being a captain of America's team being one of the captains, um, learned a lot and it's all, and it's all about growth, man. You don't, you don't get it right the first time around. It's, um, you got to put in that work and, and, and sometimes the best, um, the best way to learn is, is through experience. So, um, I'm preparing, I'm preparing for this year. I'm preparing, um, you know, for what we're about to endure, um, and just thankful for the opportunity, but I'm locked in. Uh, and uh, last question here for you. I, I know that 
you know, I, I know one of the unwritten rules uh, and sometimes written, spoken about, but I know one of, one of the things that's said in the locker room is generally like, you know, don't speak on a man's money. Don't don't talk about that. Let him handle his business. And so I wouldn't dare ask you to do that. But I know a lot of people are asking about, you know, where Dak Prescott ranks around the league right now. You're a guy who sees him every day in practice. You've seen his growth on the field, and, and you see a number of the best quarterbacks in the league when you're out there during the season. Where would you say for yourself, just analyzing the game a little bit, where Dak Prescott falls for you in terms of some of the better quarterbacks in the league? What, what is it you think he does that makes him special? I think Dak's his tenacity is is incredible. Um, his his leadership, the what he does for our team, just from a from a mental standpoint, um, you got to rock with him. You have to like him. Um, it's just he's a guy that that, that that's going to give it his all. That's the one thing you know. Um, stepping out on that field with a guy like Dak Dak Prescott. Um, business is business. Uh, it's contract negotiation. It happens all the time. Um, they're going to get the, they're going to get the deal done. So it's just all about when. <laughs> Absolutely. Now you can, uh, you can keep up with Jalen Smith. As I said, uh, lots of places. He, he, he permeates the internet. You can find him on Twitter at the Jalen Smith, Instagram at YOLO underscore Smith nine. And then of course at his website, jalensmith.com, which as we mentioned, you can find out all about the minority entrepreneurship Institute there and, and what they're doing in July. As Jalen said, go apply, get access to those funds, get the opportunity. A lot of people need it right now. And, uh, uh, you can also learn more about the uh, clear eye view lenses, which I know everybody's been uh, rocking lately. So we'll uh, go get you some yeah, so CEB we some, we lenses. Some new, we got some. We got some new swag coming, man. I'll, I'll make sure I see you up here, bro. Oh, I appreciate. It. And, and can people <laughs> buy the lenses directly on your website, or do they got to go to an outlet? Yes, go to go. They go to cvcollection dot com or go to my website jalensmith.com. dot com. You click the link. Instagram CV Collection at CV Collection. Um, we got some amazing things going on. All right, appreciate it, Jalen. Best of luck, and uh, hopefully we'll be seeing you in person again soon. We won't have to do uh, all this remote stuff. Hi, brother. Be safe now.